students, good afternoon dear teachers. Uh, and before I start, I would like to say, uh, express huge thanks to our rector Ibrahim Jafarov and other teachers and students. Today is our lecture, uh, and I'm lecturer Nabi Vanigar from Department uh, Therapy, Gynecology and Surgery. And uh, which uh, today my lecture uh, can use uh, these students which study third grade and can use the, uh, these other students which study master and five and four uh, grades. Okay, let's start our lecture. Uh, today our lecture, which I will talk about, lecture three, which I will talk about elements of surgical operations here yeah, and plastic surgery. And uh, here we can see lecture plan. The first uh, I uh, will be uh, talk about separation of tissues in animals, uh, bleeding and methods of its stop, connection of tissues, elements of plastic operation, injections, infusions, and blood pressure. And here, list of used of literature, which uh, literature I'm used, very uh, interesting books, practical surgery, orthopedics and ophthalmatics, uh, and operative surgery, uh, Magda, very um, interesting and true books. There is a work for some small animal surgery about only uh, young animals, about small animals. And uh, I used an Atlas Veterinary Surgery, John Hickman, and Minor Veterinary Surgery. And the first, I would like to say about uh, separation of tissues in animals. And we know about this, each bloody operation uh, associated with uh, inevitable violation of the integrity tissues and they are dis with their dissection. Uh, and uh, cannot imagine this only you know, operations, each operations without bloodly. But uh, every operation has a bloody and bloodless operations and we will talk about this. And the more carefully dissected, uh, every surgery doctor more carefully dissected about tissues, uh, dissected tissues, how dissected tissues, where dissected tissues. And uh, in particular, uh, every surgery doctor will be attentively, uh, should be attentively about damage of vessels and nerves, uh, damage large vessels and nerves. Uh, we will talk about the length of the tissue. What is the length of the tissue? Uh, each other op uh, operation has a length, short, directions. We will talk about this. The length of the tissue. Uh, here, uh, talk about section depends not only on the length of the affected area, but also not only uh, affected area, also uh, depth of penetration of the tissues. For example, affected organ only deeply, uh, which I will operate it, this organ, and uh, this, uh, this uh, penetration into the tissues and uh, this incision of the uh, will be uh, uh, will be deeply. And in general, when starting in incision, should be forget one surgical ruler. And uh, here we can see the length of the surgery operation and uh, has a very importantly, uh, very importantly useful uh, surgery uh, rulers of surgery, rulers of surgery. The uh, incision should be as a large needed and small impossible. And uh, I will repeat, the incision should be very large as well as large and uh, as small as possible. This is a ruler surgery. The shape of the cut, the shape of the cut of the tissue most often rectilinear, maybe rectilinear. And for example, when extirpating uh, these neoplasms, exciting ulcers and uh, fistules, incisions are made, uh, for example, fusiform, uh, made me fusiform. And uh, here we can see and shapes of his shape will, uh, will be differently. Angular shapes, T-shaped, uh, cruciform, horseshoe shape, and so on. But uh, usually uh, I use, uh, for example, rectilinear short of the cut. The direction of the cut. Here we will be attentively here. The direction of the cut determined by the course of the skin folds and we, uh, when we, uh, when we uh, should keep these uh, skissers on the hand and uh, beginning cutting, uh, we will be uh, every surgery doctor will be very attentively how and where 
uh, he should um, cutting this uh, place, this operated place. For example, uh, he allocated of deeper neuromuscular uh, bundles, maybe tendons, ligaments, tendon sheets, and other organs uh, located deeply. And we will uh, attentively uh, where we uh, should uh, cut. And uh, for example, here we can see instruments cut in techniques. And for example, uh, the main instrument of surgery, this is surgery knife. This is uh, most of common uh, each other instruments uh, in surgery. Scalpel, surgical knife, scalpel, scalpel from Latina. This is word means knife. And uh, we use, when we use, we use, for example, during this surgical operation, and every uh, surgical instrument scalpel has a blade and handle. A blade and handle. But uh, has a different, uh, various spaces of um, blade and handle, and I will show this. And cutting the skin uh, will be, we should attentively, when we're cutting the skin, First, we will be attentively uh, um, necessary eliminate uh, mobility displacement for which surgery himself with the fingers of a surgery doctor. For example, when we fixation uh, fixation skin, when we cutting, uh, with left hands we keep uh, peritoneum abdominal cavity, uh, two fingers surgical, uh, two fingers surgery doctor and. Uh, has a small operation uh, between uh, two fingers and skissers when uh, with skissers uh, which located um, which we keep right hand we should cutting this place for example fixate uh, with fingers and uh, the hand uh, right hand uh, surgery doctor right hand uh, should be surgical instrument scalpel and left hand uh, I think should be keep surgical doctor tweezers or uh, clamps. Here we can see scalpel tips of different sizes. Here we can see uh, different uh, blades, which number, uh, various spaces number, and different uh, number handle. For example, we usually use in the clinic, and I use number four, and uh, in the blade we, uh, I'm used, for example, 10 numbers and 24 numbers. It's very easily comfortable when I used, and uh, other spaces, uh, blades of scalpels, we used, uh, for example, uh, patchwork. Uh, wounds in the patchwork wounds but usually we works number four handle scalpel and uh, number 10 and 24 uh, blade numbers of blade for example here to, uh, we can see blades different spaces uh, blades and handles which uh, connected uh, we blade to handle uh, here we can see different uh, various spaces for example, uh, blades, we use 10 numbers, we use 40 numbers and 20 numbers. And very useful, very comfortable when we use, when, we, when, uh, when I should keep, uh, for example, when I should keep during this operation, uh, scalp is very comfortable, number 40, 10, 20. But uh, other uh, blades uh, of scalp is we use uh, different uh, operations. For example, new plasms when we uh, shoot cutting uh, new plasms uh, and um, for example, exciting ulcers uh, and, and so on. Scalpels. Here we can see uh, handles and blades of scalpels, which connected uh, scalpels. Uh, for example, the first belly, the second we can see pointed uh, scalpel, the third button shaped, the four tenatums, the five, uh, the five serpate and the six resection. Uh, resection uh, scalpels uh, we used uh, when we resected ribs. Uh, usually we use the first scalpels, belly scalpels usually, and sometimes uh, pointed. And third and four we use when we uh, should be operated bone operations. Uh, method of skin fixation with fingers. What is this? Uh, here we can see the first picture. We can see how every uh, surgical doctor should uh, fixation left hand, fixation skin, and after that uh, in right hands uh, should be cutting. Uh, when uh, this doctor uh, should be, uh, when uh, keep, uh, for example, scalpels. And uh, which here we can, uh, we can see the first picture uh, when uh, every should 
uh, every surgery doctor should be fixation uh, with fingers skin and the second uh, picture we can see uh, how doctor or assistant should be keep left or right uh, uh, hand with uh, tweezers how uh, this um, doctor uh, should be keep these tweezers fixation of tissue very uh, importantly place of the surgery elements here and um, uh, position for example the first position of the scalpel blade when cutting uh, six skin what is it and uh, when beginning uh, operation when beginning uh, when we should work scalpels we uh, should uh, keep uh, scalpel vertically and when we cutting we sh should keep horizontally and when I uh, for example when we'll uh, finish we should uh, keep scalpel vertically and uh, the section of the peritoneum between two fingers, we can um, see here, uh, each doctor, every doctor should be keep left right uh, peritoneum with two fingers and uh, peritone, fixation of peritoneum. And uh, here we can see the small uh, places opening, small pl uh, opening when sh uh, surgical doctor uh, here uh, can be cut this peritoneum. And uh, in addition to scalpels, uh, scissors are used to separate tissues, uh, which we use, for example, uh, different uh, instruments. We usually, and uh, most common, we uh, use scissors, various spaces, scissors, uh, scalpels, uh, tweezers, forceps. Uh, this is more common uh, instruments, um, another, these uh, other instruments. For example, about tweezers, uh, small information, uh, tweezers. Tweezers has a surgical tweezers and anatomical tweezers. Surgical tweezers has a, uh, on the tip, small teases. But anatomical tweezers without on the tip teases. For example, uh, tweezers, uh, very useful surgical tweezers. Why? And now I will uh, say about this. Uh, when I uh, shoot fixation of skin, very useful and comfortable for me when I uh, with tweezers, surgical tweezers, because uh, on the tip has a small uh, teases when I uh, easily fixation of this uh, skin. But anatomical uh, tweezers hasn't on the tip small teases. And I think surgical and uh, anatomical tweezers differ each other. And uh, I forgot to say about capture move. Uh, this function, function of tweezers, capture, hold, and move. This is uh, mainly uh, function, uh, th these tweezers. Uh, scissors, we can here uh, see uh, in the clinic we use in the uh, straight lines. For example, here we can see the first uh, picture, and the second we can see uh, curved scissors. Curved scissors we used usually, but uh, the first scissors, straight scissors, we, us uh, we uh, used very common because very useful when I fixation of peritoneum uh, with uh, fingers and after this uh, I uh, should uh, cutting with uh, straight lens scissors, very useful and comfortable when I use uh, straight lens. And after that, uh, about uh, I would like uh, repeat about anatomical and surgical uh, tweezers. Anatomical tweezers uh, without we cannot see here on the tip a small teases, but surgical here we can see small teases on the tip. And uh, I recommended my students will use these tweezers, surgical tweezers, because these uh, small teases, when dislocated on the tip, very useful and comfort comfortable. Surgical tweezers on the tip we can see. And uh, here we can see uh, all of uh, instruments when we use usually. For example, the first, uh, elastic intestine clamps when we operate it, uh, intestine of sheep, cattle, when we fixation intestine, uh, uh, cattle and sheep. The second we can see uh, scalpel uh, and the third scissors, straight scissors, the four, uh, four prolonged retractors, 
when we uh, used on the uh, located on the deeper organs, uh, for example, uh, and the five. Uh, this is scalpel, uh, but other uh, uh, various spaces. And here we can see the first. Here we can see the first. Uh, this is tweezers, curved tweezers. The four. Here we can see tweezers and striate tweezers and hemostatic clamps. And here we can see needle. This is large needle. When we uh, use, when we put stitch uh, of the intestine of cattle. But uh, needle has a different needles, different needles, eye needles. For example, when we uh, operate it, when we um, want uh, to keep uh, different stitch of the intestine. And this is large needles. Uh, here we can see uh, needle holders, when we fixation of needle, when we should keep, uh, and skissers, skissers right, skissers, uh, and uh, here we can see forceps, uh, and red foot section forceps, and here we can see needle holders. Needle holders, uh, this is function, uh, fixation needle, when uh, each, every surgery doctor should be uh, put stitch. Uh, needle holders, killers needle holders, uh, we uh, use this usually uh, Hagar, Hagar needle holders and uh, Matteo needle holders, uh, Hagar and uh, for example towel clips. Towel clips is not uh, cutting instruments, towel clips with fixation towel to wool, cats or dogs. And grace cross action, this is uh, needle holders. Veterinary beach spray surgery kits small animals, ovaries removal. Here we, we can see these instruments which we uh, usually uh, which we use often. Uh, first we can see stride hemostatic forceps, the four uh, curved, but function the same, the same function. Uh, here we can see towel clamp forceps. Uh, and I said about this, I, I can repeat uh, towel clamp and fixation um, fixation towel. Uh, clamp to the wool of cats or dogs, uh, and here we can see skissers and Hagar skissers uh, and forceps. Here we can see different and uh, tweezers, anatomical tweezers and surgical tweezers, scalpel handle. We can see here only handles of scalpel, but here uh, we cannot see a blade. And spay hook. What is spay hook? Spay hook we removed ovarius when we castration of animals. Um, to squeeze or pinch of tissues, use a chain, uh, we use a cruiser. To spreading and stretching the edge of the wound, we use different uh, wound hooks, shape wound hooks, hooks and blunt wound hooks. Uh, this is, uh, and here we, uh, we have a one moment. For complete the section of bones, various, we have an air, uh, arc, wire and sheet. The ribs uh, resected with uh, special ribs skissers. Uh, the periosteum we separated, uh, when we separated and when we removed sequesters, uh, separated with raspatory uh, and cured sharp spots, which were useful instruments when we use during operation. Uh, here we can see sharp spoon wound. Here we can see uh, the uh, first and the second, and the third we can see curette, the four a chain ecrasure, the five here, this uh, both of instruments function, uh, this is clamps, and uh, here we can see the blunt uh, curette, and uh, here we can see four uh, prolonged retractors and two prolonged retractors, and uh, here forceps, arterial forceps. And uh, here uh, I, will, uh, I will continue about uh, instruments uh, used for bone surgery, for example. These instruments we used only during bone surgery. Uh, here we can see tenatom, rotary manual trefan, and arc and sheet saws. Here he can see, uh, we can see here arc and sheet saws. Uh, here we can see a trepanning hammer when we use during the operation, hammer and costal skissers, costal skissers, 
uh, and trepan with cutters, trepan uh, with cutters, and ribra spatter, ribra spatter. When we here we can see ribra spatter during operation uh, of the uh, bones operation we can see, and uh, grooved and striped chisel, uh, grooved and striped chisel here you can see, and uh, I said uh, about Dahlgren nippers. I would like to say about Dahlgren nippers. These uh, instruments we used only uh, during operation only for bones. Here are resected skissers, uh, resector, resector of ribs, skissers, special skissers when we use uh, during operation of the ribs. Trepan uh, trepanation. Greek trepanao, this is dr drilling. This is special. Uh, special types of tissue operations which uh, occurs operations uh, of the bones special uh, we use special cutters and trepanation uh, for example what is this operation we uh, we can see in the cylindrical source trepanation uh, when we use spherical cutters and uh, we use dahlgren nippers dahlgren nippers which is useful uh, instrument, uh, surgical instrument, Dahlgren uh, nippers. And uh, here we can see uh, this uh, we used, uh, Dahlgren nippers we used. Uh, for example, this operation, uh, which operation we can see uh, in during operation uh, which occurs uh, of the bones. Uh, for example, we removed periosteum, dissected periosteum uh, with uh, this instrument raspatter. Amputation, Latina amputare, to cut off. Amputation, complete separation of tissues with the removal of the peripheral part of the organ. Uh, we remove this organ, which affected organ, which located on the deeply of the tissues uh, or peripheral part of we removed. And uh, if an organ is cut off along the joint, if organ uh, which uh, we should um, keep, uh, we should cut off along the joint. This amputation we called extra articulation, isolation, Latina, X from outward, articles, joint. Uh, about the second, uh, I would like about bleeding and methods of its stopping. Bleeds, how uh, we should uh, stop bleeding? Uh, depending on the source of occurrence, uh, bleeding can be arterial, venous, capillary, and parenchymatous bleeding. Uh, and accumulation of the blood uh, may be primary uh, bleeding and secondary bleeding. For example, primary bleeding, um, I meet, uh, for example, after traumas, uh, cattles, uh, for cattles, uh, for horns, which horns uh, and uh, each other. And uh, I said accumulation uh, of the blood, this is primary blood. And bleeding that can occur due to erosion of the vessel during the decay surrounded, which is this. And uh, we should put tourniquet. Uh, uh, when we can see bleeding uh, and how we should stop it. We, can, uh, we should put uh, tourniquet uh, and uh, tourniquet uh, we can see here tourniquet, the first picture, and here we can see when we, uh, how we should put a tourniquet uh, on the hind limbs of cattle. Here we can see hind limbs of cattle. Here hemostatic tourniquet and places is uh, application. Temporary stop of bleeding. Which methods? For example, very easily methods here we can see um, about when uh, every doctor, every surgery doctor should be put fingers and after one or two minutes waiting and after one or two minutes uh, we can see stop bleeding. But uh, here we can see uh, mechanical, uh, mechanical methods, uh, twisting the vessel methods uh, with cocher and pian, which is this. And uh, before uh, this uh, I would like to say about hemostatic tweezers, I forgot, uh, sorry, hemostatic tweezers. Uh, here we can see pian, the first, pian, uh, cohere, and arterial clamp. Hemostatic tweezers, pian. We cannot on the tip, uh, we cannot see on the tip thesis in pian. 
But uh, in the Kocher uh, arterias, we can see small thesis on the tip, Kocher uh, clamps, and very easily fixation arteria. And the third uh, arterial clamp, we can see curved, uh, curved skissers uh, and curved clamp. And uh, without on the tip small thesis. Thesis. Very useful when we use uh, hemostatic uh, tweezers cocher, very useful and very uh, easily and very comfortable fixation skin uh, in the skin of the arterias. And after that, uh, I would like to uh, say about mechanical physical tweezers uh, methods. The final stop of uh, bleeding, uh, we use mechanical, physical, biological methods. Uh, what is it? Mechanical methods, the simplest of them is tamponada. We use tamponada. Tampons, uh, when we should put uh, the bleeding places, after that, one or two minutes should be wait, and after that we can uh, see uh, stop bleeding. Very easy, easy for comfortable and usually uh, used uh, methods, me mechanical methods. And twisting the vessel torsion. When we uh, when we use twisting, twisting the vessel torsion. This is uh, of the most common uh, methods of mechanical arrest. At the same time, we use this. Uh, for example, this hemostatic tweezers, Kocher and Pian. A very useful Kocher we used. And uh, torsion, what is this? Torsion, we uh, beginning uh, twist this vessel. And after we wait three or four minutes, after three or four minutes, bleeding stop. We can see in the twisting methods. Very useful methods, mechanical methods. And uh, when we fixation uh, Kocher, fixation of arteria. We use uh, ligatura, ligation, ligation vessel were useful methods, and uh, for ligation we used uh, silk and catgut. Uh, here we can see methods of vascular lig ligation. Here we can see the first how we uh, should keep with skissers this arteria fixation, and uh, the four we can see uh, where uh, we put scalpel and after that uh, cut, and the three cut, and the three we can see, if uh, bleeding we can see in the uh, branches of the main arterias, uh, we uh, should keep legacy vessel, legacy silk or catgut under uh, this arteria. And the four we can see uh, chipping the vessel. Uh, physical methods, we use hot or cold uh, stopping uh, blade. Uh, for stopping blade we use cold, cold or hot physical methods. Chemical methods we use 3% hydrogen, peroxide hydrogen. But we will be very attentively because maybe skin burns. And what this uh, usually, we use these methods very usually, but uh, we use often physical methods and mechanical methods. Mechanical methods is uh, vessel methods when we use uh, fixation of uh, cocher, with fixation with cocher. Uh, here we can see biological methods. When we use biological methods, biological methods we use castration, when we castrate cats, for example. Uh, ovarectomia, ovarectomia operations. Biological methods the first place and the general effect. When we use, for example, pieces of the omentum, when uh, when we can see bleeding, a lot of bleed, blood, uh, and uh, we can put pieces of the amandum, of the intestine, of the uh, which importantly uh, organs, for example, liver, cover this liver or cover uh, bleeding places. Uh, we can uh, put pieces of the amandum uh, where they give good effective adipose tissue, muscle fascia transferred to the bleeding surface also have hemostatic effect. We use this effect with hemostatic effect. For example, hemostatic effect um, when we use uh, pieces of the amentum uh, because we should cover this organ or places and after five minutes we can see uh, stop bleeding. Uh, and the third connection of tissues very importantly uh, main here, connection of tissues, we use stitch, different stitch uh, on the tissue. And uh, staple stitchers, bloody methods and blood. Here we can see importantly places. 
bloodly methods and bloodless methods. What is it? Bloodly methods, um, each other operation, for example, 91st operation, a cure, uh, with bloody methods. But something, sometimes, uh, sorry, sometimes bloodless methods we use, for example, when we uh, meet, when we can meet uh, operational fractures of uh, hind limbs of cattle or fractures of uh, dogs or cats, hind limbs, uh, when uh, this is operation called bloodless. We use bloodless methods. And uh, have a, for example, gillis needle holder. This uh, instrument, which fixation needle, uh, needle holder, gillis needle holder. Uh, every operation occurs uh, with needles, with stitches, with, uh, for example, uh, gillis needles, gegar needles, and so on. Matthew and Boyton needle holder. We use in the clinic Matthew. But very uh, useful for me, Gegar uh, uh, needle holder. But Matthew is not uh, very comfortable, but uh, sometimes uh, use. We used Matthew needle holder and uh, Byton needle holder. Here we can see. And here we can see stride and curved hemostatic uh, forceps. Here we can see curved skissers, uh, curved forceps. And here we can see um, stride. Forceps. And this function, uh, this same function, function the same. And here bandage, plaster, cast cutting, uh, skissers. This is a special instrument when we use uh, during bandage, when we uh, should be put bandage uh, for the uh, animals. We use bandage, plaster, cast cutting. cutting. And here we can see uh, how we should uh, fixation needle to needle holder. How every surgery doctor should keep needle to needle holder. Uh, this uh, sometimes, uh, we often we use uh, high, uh, left hand. Left hand we uh, keep, for example, a needle and uh, needle holder. Uh, when this needle holder uh, I put um, I keep right hand and after that uh, fixate needle to needle uh, for needle holder. Here we can see uh, various spaces of needles. Here we can see eye uh, needles. Um, this uh, zero, 00 and 204 numbers we used uh, when we uh, stitch, put stitch in the intestine of cattle of sheep. But useful we use 8 and 10. Uh, numbers of uh, needles when we use uh, castration uh, of uh, animals, cat or dog when we use and then uh, we should uh, put the stitch with these needles for number 8, uh, 10. Here we can see how we should needle uh, fixation uh, to needle holder. Here we can see very clearly, I think, And structure of needle. Here we can see needle structure. Switched end. Here, here we can see body, shaft, body. When uh, where we uh, should keep needle holder, the middle uh, part of uh, needle body. This is part of body and point. And uh, basic needle design. What is this? Here we can see uh, very. Uh, this structure, when uh, we well can uh, see very well, all surgical needles needles have three basic, which is this, uh, three basic components, which is this. The first, this is I, where we fixation stitch, I, body, and uh, body we can see here, we fixated uh, skissers and uh, needle holders and point. Here we can see point. And here structure uh, needles uh, when uh, we use every in every opera operation. Here we can see needle shape, needle shape, needle code, needle length, needle type, 
imaging of needle and suture lengths. We will be attentively what we operated, where we operated, and after that, after that, uh, we attentively choose this needle. Ne uh, needle and stitch may be nylon, etylon, maybe vicryl, ketkut, and so on. But uh, we can uh, very, we should very attentively for the size of needle. Here we can see silk braid, non-absorbable, non-absorbable suture. And after that, polyglycyl acid, absorbable suture. Uh, sometimes uh, this uh, we use surgical sutures. Sometimes we use Here, different various spaces of needles and types of knots. Knots, knots uh, may be various spaces, uh, and uh, very importantly, the first surgical and marine. The uh, surgical we use very often, but marine we use usually. But uh, often knots uh, we uh, we should put other uh, of the wound of the side of the one the side uh, surgical knots. And here we can see technical trying uh, knots uh, how we should. Uh, put these knots, the first loop and the second loop, and uh, trying uh, a knot across uh, amounts. Amounts methods here we can see, and in the clinic, very useful when I uh, can show to students when uh, these uh, students uh, should be used every uh, how uh, needle fixation to needle, needle folder or how these uh, students, for example, uh, should be put stitch on the wounds. Uh, trying a knot with a hemostatic forceps. How we uh, trying a knot with hemostatic forceps and how we begin to uh, put to stitch. Types of interrupted seams. In the uh, surgery, interrupted seams has interrupted seams and uh, continuous uh, seams. What is it? Types of interrupted seams. The first we can see situational. Situational. The four we can see loop shaped. When we use, in, for example, neoplasms, after neoplasms, we put uh, this uh, stitch, loop shaped. And the third uh, seam with rollers. We uh, put stitch uh, with rollers. Simple inter interrupted suture. And a uh, simple interrupted suture applied with separate, uh, for example, threads uh, 15 or 25 centimeters length. Uh, and after that, with, uh, when we needle fixate needle folder, and after that, we use, uh, for example, this interrupted suture, the ends of the wound uh, fixed with surgical forceps, and after that, begin, uh, we beginning put a uh, stitch. And uh, I think the races stand uh, each other, uh, every other race, uh, every standing uh, threads uh, should be 0 0.5, 1.5 centimeters. Uh, this is races should be. But here we can see simple interrupted. We can see here this is a simple interrupted uh, stitch. And very easily, very useful, comfortable, uh, simple interrupted. We use this, for example, it's not deeply wound. Uh, we use uh, this, uh, for example, interrupted uh, we, when we put um, stitches on the wounds of the on one side uh, when we injected needle. Knots should be uh, on the wounds on the one side, one side of the injected of needle. Here we can see interrupted stitch uh, seams, uh, and here we can see knots uh, located on the bounce on the side, on the injection of uh, needle. And spacing should be 0 0.5 centimeters. And 0 0.5 centimeters here we can see dips when we uh, injected uh, needle, and after that uh, every spacing should be 0 0.5 centimeters, the same. Stitches, 
stitch spacing uh, and I said but distance may be 0.75 or 1.5 centimeters and after that uh, from another and after each stitch strides tied to injure places alignment of the wound here we can important places edges without uh, undue force and uh, here we can see where it will be attentively. The nodes should be located on, of the uh, wound on the side of the injection needle. Needle injection. Interrupted, simple interrupted suture. Because very often more common we meet. Uh, simple interrupted suture. Here we can see very easily and very uh, curly. We fixation. Uh, for the tweezers this skin and after that we injected needle simple interrupted suture here we can see this is true uh, first not tight here true uh, this is not tight maybe uh, should be this in the first and uh, for the picture we can see true not tight. Interrupted simple suture. You can see interrupted simple suture when I talked about this. And continuous simple suture. Continuous uh, we use sometimes, uh, but uh, when this is, uh, we use patchwork wounds, for example, patchwork works, we, uh, do, we made inserts. And after that, we uh, made continuous simple uh, suture. And interrupted simple suture we uh, used, for example, during this operation, castration of uh, animals, um, for example, cats or dogs. Uh, interrupted simple suture, very useful, very comfortable. Uh, when, uh, and after, for example, 8 or 10 days, uh, we can uh, remove the stitch. And the third uh, picture, we can see how we should uh, made knot. Simple running technique we interrupted. Here we, we can very clearly and continuous uh, stitch. Mattress stitch, horizontal mattress stitch, running substances. Here we can uh, use in the wounds, for example, patchwork wounds, and uh, simple running technique were interrupted. We use uh, very easily and very often we use a situational suture, looped suture, roller suture. This is interrupted simple suture. Situation, uh, su situational suture we used when we uh, should be uh, put needle to middle of the needle holder. Uh, and uh, after that, uh, we beginning um, put stitch. And situational suture, we use uh, long wound in the long wound and non straight edges. This uh, wounds we use situational suture. And uh, after that, uh, I would like small information about looped suture. This uh, can prevent tissue eruption looped suture and is applied uh, we use patchworks of the skin uh, with these organs for example muscle defects aponeurosis and uh, the skin muscle defects and the skin which create stress we use looped suture and the roller suture designed to close severally gapping wounds with significant edge stress and uh, roller suture and looped suture we use uh, usually a uh, situational suture we used uh, sometimes knocked seam and methods of its imposition here we can see uh, the true here we can see the true imposition uh, not seam here because we should fixation all of tissues and mucous membranes and and after that he's uh, this is true pictures but here we can see it's not true the second and three it's not true because we forgot about mucous membrane we uh, here uh, may be a formation uh, bleeding, hematoma and uh, continuous stitch, Fourier stitch, mattress stitch and purse string stitch, uh, Fourier stitch, maybe mattress stitch and purse string stitch. For example, purse string stitch, we use rounded wound. When we can see rounded wound, we use uh, purse string suture. 
For example, mattress seam we use stitch uh, can be cut. Mattress seam uh, we used uh, very sometimes, and we use applied to fabrics where uh, seam stitch can be cut. And Fourier suture is most often used. We use Fourier suture, uh, and this is uh, we use and uh, this corner of wounds very edge. We use then. And continuous stitch, for example, I said about Fourier stitch, we can see here Fourier stitch, continuous stitch, and here we can see metal stitch, and the third, poor string stitch. Poor string stitch we use, for example, this uh, for the operation intestine, we uh, beginning, uh, yeah, continue beginning, put uh, some stitch, and after that, we turning. Intestinal sutures. Intestinal sutures, here move one store Lambert sutures. Lambert sutures and uh, Schmieden sutures. Here we can see uh, how we should seam. Uh, we should put seam and here after tightening. After tightening. View this uh, stitch after tightening. Suture removal te uh, technique. Uh, suture removal technique, for example, we use uh, after you know, 10 or 12 days, uh, patients come, uh, uh, come uh, in the clinic and we begin to remove uh, this te technique after 10 or 12 days. And we uh, fixation knots uh, with tweezers and after that we begin cutting. Elements of plastic operation. Uh, elements of plastic operation. The, uh, for example, we uh, there are four possible methods of replacing of tissue transplantation: autoplasty, uh, homoplasty, heteroplasty, and alloplasty. Autoplasty, which we uh, should take transplantation of the taken from the sick animal itself, but uh, homoplasty tissue is transferred from another animal are the same. The same spaces. Heteroplasty, graft transplanted uh, from an animal of another species, for example, dogs, cats. Uh, in the homoplasty, we say tissue transferred from uh, another animal of the same species, for example, cat, cat, dog, go, dog. Uh, alloplasty tissue is usually replaced. We use synthetic material, it's covered, uh, this transplantation uh, place. Uh, perforation of the prepared skin. Flat. Here we can see flat. When these places, we should prepare it and closing the defect with a leg skin uh, flap in the eyelid region. Here we can see the first picture. You can see here has a, uh, in the horse uh, has a defect, and with a leg skin flap, which uh, we keep. Uh, and in the island region, we put island region, here we can see, and after 10 or 12 days, and after one month, we can see here, and uh, disappear this uh, defect. Disappeared defect. And transplantation skin pieces across AMA. This is graft, taking a graft, preparation of the wells of the grads, and placing the graft in the walls, here. And uh, graft, uh, we should uh, we should keep, it. and after that, of the walls uh, of the grafts, we pull and placing in the uh, graft in the wells. The third picture. Injection, infusion, and uh, blood pressure. What is injection and what is uh, infusion? What is differ? Injection, Latina injection, throw in. This is synonym injection. This introduced um, a lot of liquid forms, medical substances or biological uh, products, uh, for example, vascular bed, body cavities. But in uh, infusion, this is mainly called gravity, various solution, a lot of, uh, a lot of amounts of, for example, blood, blood circulation, various solutions, substitutes, mainly called gravity flow uh, infusion. For example, here we can see infusion in the jugular vein of the horse. Uh, the first we can see how every doctor should be kept this uh, infusion tube. 
jugular vein and of the apparatus. Here we can see the first picture and after that the second. After we can see infusion. Uh, here we can see uh, the injection of jugular vein uh, of horse, this position, how we keep needle and angle at here we can see um, 45 uh, degree injection into a large air vein in a peak. Here we should inject it some uh, solution. Here we can see large vein and injection into a large air vein in a peak. How we should inject it? Large vein in a peak. Injection in dogs into the saphenous vein of the forearm in dogs. How we should inject it in saphenous vein? Uh, here we can see saphenous vein and here hidden vein. In a dog, saphenous vein here we should inject it and we should inject it in hidden vein in a dog. Puncture said of the saphenous vein in birds, located here, saphenous vein of birds. And cephalic vein in a dog, located here, and accessory cephalic vein. And here we can see saphenous, saphenous vein in a dog. And uh, the end, uh, I would like about how we should inject it intramuscularly, subcutaneously, uh, intravenously and intradermal injection. Here we can see the first, intramuscularly, here we can see muscle, structure, muscle. We should keep it uh, right uh, very clearly and intramuscularly angle at 90 degree. And subcutaneously we should uh, in the parallel, uh, we should uh, angle at 45 degree, and here we can see subcutaneous issue and dermis and epidermis. Dermis we should uh, inject it intravenously, 25 uh, angle 25 gradus degree, and uh, very intradermal injection very interesting. Parallel of the skin, we should inject it parallel of the skin intradermal, 10 and 15 uh, degree. Uh, and every, I think every surgery doctor uh, should be know about how we should inject it, how we use inject it intramuscularly or intravenously. We uh, should rightly uh, know about places, uh, vein, saphenous vein, hidden vein, anatomic uh, and uh, places of this uh, injected and uh, how the surgery, every surgery doctor should be now how kept needle holder, needle and other instruments, how should be used these instruments during this operation because I think uh, if uh, different uh, surgery doctors or assistants uh, will not be name of these instruments, I think never uh, will not this uh, how these instruments uh, should be used uh, should be every students i, I re recommend it please uh, study this name of these instruments uh, name of tweezers name of uh, scalpels different various spaces uh, location uh, for example uh, places where we should uh, inject it how we should inject it intramuscularly or intravenously. This is, uh, I think, huge work in surgery, doctor. Have any questions, students, for me? Please, thank you, attention. Thank you, uh, the attention, students. Thank you, attention, and see you in the next lecture.